Emery fielded his Aston Villa team in a hybrid of 5-3-2 or 4-4-2 mid block against Bayern with a major focus on keeping the center tight, forcing Bayern wide. The midfield double pivot shifted as much as possible towards the ball near zone to keep the interiors closed and the wide player marked the wide ball possessor. The only space for Bayern to progress was to play perfect overhead balls behind the mid block. But Villa defended it, so let's have a detailed look. Villa stopped Bayern's strength in house spaces using strict positional occupation to deny any options in those areas. The midfield line kept its width until the house space, leaving the flank free. If the ball is played wide, the fullback stays deep with the five-man back lane, which is trying to cover the entire width, while the wide midfielder jumps upon the wide player. If the play is switched, the house space access restriction is maintained by dropping the attacking midfielder to form a 5-4-1 shape. The low block from Villa is too narrow that there is no space between the lines for Bayern's tight space technicians to operate. The space behind the block can be exploited by house space crosses, but the constant pressure on the ball carrier reduces the occurrence of such passes. Also, the back lane is well drilled to back shuffle if they sense the ball carrier has some time on the ball to pick a forward pass. The players knew when to push higher to force the opposition back. They didn't just stay deep in the block, instead disturbed by its possession play by making sudden movements to force the ball carrier to play back. The angle runs to force the ball carrier in one direction were followed by similar movements from nearby players, ultimately pushing Bayern back and allowing the block to move higher. When we look closely, they have created pressing traps in the half space using the ball side midfielder and the winger to target players who love to receive and turn in tiny pockets. The house space pockets will be closed from all directions if any attacker opts for an adventurous move. Usually in the double pivot system, the center midfielders may not be able to shift with the ball after a switch to cover the house space. Villa counters it with aggressive center backs who jumps on the interior players to create the so-called traps. There is another way to access the house space and Villa has yet another answer to it. When Bayern tried to overload the flanks by keeping the winger wide and equipping the house space with two players, Villa formed a back six to keep the fullback connected to the back lane. The space between the fullback and the centre back is what Bayern wanted to exploit and thus they want to track Digne wide. Villa had done the homework and maintained the shape by putting tailmans in the house space. When right winger was pulled out, Digne had to go wide, but the gap was closed by the midfielder and the centre back. Now the space between the centre backs is guarded by the other centre midfielder, Onana. The mid blocks usually concede space behind the back lane and it could be exploited from the wide area away from keeper's reach. Whenever Bayern bypassed the block using the overhead balls, the back lane was in isolated. Instead, the midfield line was so disciplined to make a sole defensive block in the box. We have seen a lot of teams employing these kinds of combat blocks to stop ball side progression. The obvious solution from the attacking team is to drag the block further wide to find space on far side. But the discipline of Villa's defensive block to quickly shift after the switch was the key here. The fullback has negated the space for a 1v1 and the inside options are also covered and the inverted winger has to take the fullback's position. Yet another situation and Villa has cut off any space to initiate a 1v1 and soon the space behind the fullback will be closed. Before going to their offensive play, let's see an interesting sequence. At this moment, Villa is all pushed deep into their own box, with no space to relax in this dangerous zone. Giving Bayern so much time in these areas is riskier, so they have to push Bayern deep at some point. As Bayern tried to shift the play, Villa did not stay deep, instead pushed high to close down the potential ball receivers so that Bayern can further engross into the defensive threat, but has to play back and Villa could push up. Coming to the offensive play, Aston Villa struggled to build out from the back as Bayern opted for man-to-man -man marking with no space for anyone in the build-up phase. So Villa had to resort to an old-school tactic to expose Bayern's man marking. They went long to exploit Bayern's risky 1v1 man marking even in the back lane. Villa want to utilize Watkins' physicality and work rate to pressure Upamecano in particular. The space Watkins has in transitional situations had to be exploited immediately upon gaining possession and Villa's ball winners were quick to release him against Upamecano. They intentionally created this 1v1 situations for Upamecano by dropping Rojas deep to drag Kim from the back lane as Bayern is going for a man-to-man -man approach. 
Now things are clear as it just requires a long ball over the man marking Bayern block to find Watkins in a 1v1 against Upamecano in Bayern half. Another variation where they use the inverted winger to attack the isolated centre back. Villa choose the direct route often and their success with it added pressure on Bayern back lane throughout the game. The presence of Rogers was key in capitalising on second balls as wingers made those late movements towards the centre to engage the centre back and free the target man. These moves produced loose balls for the attacking midfielder to initiate attacks. The constant high ball pressure paid off at the last as Duran ended the pitch. The striker positioned between Upamecano and the right back who spin to Villa's wide right player. The four-man back line is equipped with space given for Duran to run through. In addition, Bayern's use of New York as a sweeper when playing high back lane backfired as the ball landed away from New York's reach and Duran scored a clean goal to win the game. It was truly a tactical masterclass from Emery.